I have experienced many, many rainy days at Walt Disney World. Not just as a guest, but as a cast member. But tonight, I wanted to talk to you guys about three specific rainy days that I witnessed and unfortunately had to suffer through as a Disney guest. These three specific rainy days were by far the worst rainy days I've ever experienced by far as a Disney guest. I'm going to take you guys back about 10 years ago when I was in high school. It was a beautiful, if not gorgeous, gorgeous morning at Animal Kingdom. My best friend from high school and I had gone to Animal Kingdom for the morning. My dad had got us in and we had just going been going through the entire day. And by the time the evening came, the weather started going from absolutely beautiful to not great at all. There was a lot of cumulonimbus clouds rolling in. I knew it was going to be a bad storm. It was getting near the time for my dad to get off work. I knew we had just enough time to ride one more ride in. Dinosaur is always one of my fra- was always one of my favorites, and is still one of my favorites to this day. And so, I suggested to my best friend, "Let's go ride dinosaur," and he definitely agreed to do it. We got off the ride very quickly. I knew it was going to be a quick wait. I had looked ahead of time, just, not just on the board, but also on the. Uh, wait time just outside the attraction which showed a five minute wait if not that a ten minute wait I don't remember anymore it's been a long time we got off the ride and the ride just happens to conveniently have not just a Disney gift shop which all Disney rides do but also a giant awning just outside the Disney ride or just the ride in general And as I figured, there was a massive thunderstorm just camped outside the ride. And it was pouring down rain, lots of lightning. So I decided we would be just hanging out under the awning for a little bit. And for a good 30 minutes, it seemed like we just sat there and talked. And I just kept watching the rain pour and it did not seem to let up. I became discouraged. Is it ever going to stop raining? So I finally said to my best friend, we're running out of time. I've got to meet up with my best friend, sorry, with my dad. So what could have taken at least 10 to 15 minutes just to walk from where we were to the front entrance end up taking a whole hour. Let me just put this into perspective for you guys. Dinoland USA is a good 10 to 15 minute walk, or at least a mile or two of walking. But when you stop literally every 30 seconds for shelter, it makes it seem a whole lot longer. I never thought I would be so happy and relieved to finally see the front entrance when we finally got there. Story 2. In 2017, Hurricane Irma had hit Magic Kingdom, but not just Magic Kingdom, but Walt Disney World and Central Florida in general. Of course, when my friend TJ and I went to Magic Kingdom for the day, we were there just before Hurricane Irma hit, so we were, excuse me, only witnessing the outer skirts of the uh, hurricane we had just got off uh, Splash Mountain a little while ago and we were hanging out over by the restroom when all of a sudden a downpour just happened and I happened to be YouTubing at the time too you can check out the video at the theme park evangelist on YouTube 
I know I said YouTube twice, but you get the point. And so, it seemed like at least an hour. It may not have even been an hour that we were sitting there, and I just finally got fed up of it. And I said, we have to go somewhere else. I cannot stand this wait any longer. So we went from one shelter to the next, I think we attempted to ride the train, but the train was closed. I almost gave up and wanted to leave, but the rain finally slowed down. So we were able to make our way back to the front of the park. I think we did end up leaving the park, but by the time the rain finally let up and we were able to leave the area, it had been at least two hours. The, the good thing about going with anywhere with my friend TJ, in the event that it downpours, doesn't mean that we're going to necessarily leave Disney property. Oh, no. He and I always have a backup plan. We might go out to eat. We might wait it out and go somewhere else. In, like, Disney Springs, we might go to another park and just play around. TJ and I have dealt with the rain many, many times. It's nothing new to us. But what really drove me crazy about this specific rainstorm is the fact that it didn't seem to let up and the fact that it just lasted forever, even though it only lasted for a few hours. Story number three. You guys thought that story one was bad, or even story two, but wait till you guys hear story number three. A co-worker of mine from Public Supermarkets by Legoland, Florida, had been wanting to go to Walt Disney World for quite some time, specifically to the Magic Kingdom. One of my co-workers was not too sure if I should be doing this for her. But I had promised her I would do it, especially since I knew she was getting ready to move to the other side of the world. So the day finally did come. It was Saturday, May 5th, 2018. Not 2017. My apologies. And of course, the day happened to be raining. And I did let her know in advance, Hey, just so you know, it's supposed to be raining today. You should probably bring some rain gear. And of course, much to my surprise, she ignored my suggestion, and her and her friends came without rain gear. Not to mention, she kept me waiting for quite a while, because she was hanging out with her friends out towards Orlando. So I was like, okay. So when we finally did get out there, A lot of the day had already gone by, and I was starting to wonder. I wonder when, you know, we're ever going to get to Disney. I wonder how much we're going to get done. I did manage to get us fast passes for Big Thunder Mountain. So at least we'll get that much done. And of course, it had been downpouring the entire time, and... We went over and did Big Thunder Mountain almost immediately upon getting there. And at the time it was raining, it wasn't downpouring or anything. It was just a good steady rainfall. It wasn't anything too bad. And as soon as the train pulled into the station and it was soaking wet, my friend asked me, why is the train all soaking wet? And I said to her, it must be pouring down rain out there. Now, nothing was stopping her from going through the train and going to the exit and just leaving. Yeah, I don't know what honestly convinced her to um, ride the ride because she rode the ride and basically the pouring rain while riding the ride riding the ride, I'm sorry. Somehow, Big Time turned her off. And she decided 
No, she didn't really want to stay around much longer. I did at least manage to convince her to ride the train for a little bit, try to give the uh, rain some time to slow down, and it did. But unfortunately, the other side of the coin was her clothes were all soaking wet, and so were her friends. So we ended up staying on the train all the way to Main Street, USA. Now at this point, it had only been a few hours. And she said to me, that she was going to try her best to put my guest passes back on my uh, account, which I was a cast member at the time that this happened. And I said, I don't think that's possible. I was trying so hard to convince her to stay longer. I was like, come on, just a little longer. I'm trying to make it worth my time. And she was so miserable. She was so wet. And I was going to be mad at her if she had tried to leave. But there was nothing that I could do to convince her not to. And I was even trying to explain to her how much money she would have thrown away by basically leaving when she did. And more or less what the uh, how much money she would have thrown away in the event that I hadn't even gotten her in. But it didn't even seem to work. I only stayed a little longer. I rode Space Mountain and basically left. I could come any time I wanted at the time. But all I could think to myself was, wow. All because of a rainy day. And that was the only reason why she left early. Otherwise, she more than likely would have stayed. And out of all of those rainy day stories that I told you guys, the third one is the one that stings the most, the one that will haunt my memory forever.